Oh, what up? This is Scotty. Welcome to Stand Your Ground. Come on in. Hey, this is Scotty. My wife, Samantha. This is Stand Your Ground and these are the grounds. Welcome. We've got a few of our dogs here that we've had probably now almost eight years. That uh, they're out of retirement. We don't even use them anymore. These are our our little lov lovable dogs that they just they're our rug dogs now. But this is where we started from in the beginning. You can see they're a little bit bigger to where you'll see what we, where we came from, where we're at today and the size we're at. Especially with the shorty bull, the thing needs to be around 20 pounds and as big as your forearm. As if, if it's this big, considered no good. So when we come across what we, we've got this last eight years, you will see the difference between the sizes in these dogs. And that's the most important thing with these shorty bulls is having that, that size. If it ain't that size, it ain't that weight, Myself, I wouldn't even call it a shorty bull. So let's get going. I'll show you what the shorty bull is really about. Man, we started back in 2016, we started. It was going the slowest, but I knew once I talked to the gentleman who was doing the shorty bulls, he was getting out of it. Another gentleman, he was getting out of it. So I knew I needed to capitalize as soon as possible. So right away we got two dogs and uh, we started our shorty bull journey right then. We wait until they're about a year and a half, two years old, just to breed the females. So we had to wait two years just to even get our first litter. And from there, man, I couldn't even recount the litters we've had or the pups we've had, but from there, it's been an experience trying to get that one pup to get to the size I'm about to show you right now, the true original shorty bull size. These are three of, three of my main dogs we got this kennel shipped from Pennsylvania. The Amish built it, so you can only imagine the quality of this thing. It sits uh, six dogs, three on this side, three on this, on the other. It's uh, cooled, heated. I got them a TV in there. They're watching Animal Planet all day, try to keep them as comfortable as possible. I hate having my dogs locked up. They're usually out all day, and we put them in there when they need to. But these are three of our main dogs. Come on. This is Oren. You can see the size difference. You can see the size. Like I said, if it's not sitting on your forearm and you can't curl it, I wouldn't call it a shorty wheel. This is the main one we've got. This is Hattori Hanzo. This is the guy who got us where we're at today. Hattori Hanzo. If it isn't the size of your form, you can't do this. I wouldn't consider calling a shorty bull. He's, he's probably 25, maybe a little bit more pounds. What is he now, like five, six? Six years old shorty boy. You can see how compact this gentleman is. This is exactly what you want. Functionality, the size, the weight, I mean the structure. What else more do you need? We gotta keep these fans out here in the summer just in case anything happens with the power cutting off. So I keep the fans right here. So if the power ends up shutting off for some reason, I can get the generators out here, hook the generators up to the fans and get the dogs cooled off within a matter of minutes. This is what we're talking about. This is literally, what, our fourth generation? Third or fourth generation shorty bull we created right here. This is Paris. This is Nacho. He's obviously crazy. He's not even a year old yet, huh? Yeah, he's a little bit over a year. You can see the size of him. He fits perfect on my arm. This is his sister. This is his uh, older sister, huh? But this is where we got. So this is what we finally created from Hot Tori Hanzo, from actually what you've seen in the beginning to Hanzo to now. This size, this compact, the structure, the functionality. You see how good he can jump. Come on. The true shorty bull right here. It 
took us just eight years to get to this location, let alone eight years just to produce finally the shorty bull standard. We went from 35, 40 pounds to legitly 20 pounds. This is a 20 pound dog right here, 20, 22 pounds. I see a lot of shorty bulls out there right now that they're, they're not using the standard. If we're not going by these dog standards, whether it's a Chihuahua or American Bully or a shorty bull, stop breeding it, stop showing it. Keep the standard on what it is, the weight, the structure, keep it like that. Stop breeding out, because what's happening is you're watering down anything we've tried to create in the shorty bull community these last 25 years. We don't just breed these dogs to make any type of money. Obviously, there has to be type of some income coming in so we can feed them. We want to get these dogs out so just this world, let alone this country or the state, has quality dogs. Right now, there's too many bully dogs out there that are not quality. They can't function just like these. We're trying to get these dogs out to good, loving families who want a functional, loving dog. So in the end, it's not just about profit. Obviously, you can tell what we've put into them. It's about love. If you want to get a hold of us, uh, we have a... Uh, SYG Shorty Bulls on Instagram and you can contact us there if you have any information, you need any help, you have any questions uh, or you can hit me up on uh, YouTube at Stand Your Ground Shorty Bulls and we're on there. You guys are looking at getting in a Shorty Bull, if you have just any questions about anything let us, uh, let us know at SYG Shorty Bulls on Instagram or you can go to my YouTube page at uh, Stand Your Ground Shorty Bulls and Bullets and check us out there. Like I said, hit us up if you have any questions. I can give you any of the information I have in my brain. Other than that, this is it. Welcome, thank you for coming to the grounds. Leave a comment and tell me what you guys think of the place. All right, folks, you've seen the house, you've seen the vehicles we got, you've seen the grounds, the dogs. Now, it's time for you guys to roll on out. No, you know, out this way. Go. We'll see you here back next time.